We've been reporting the University of Texas has been firing dozens of employees to comply with a new state ban. The university was using taxpayer money to pay for diversity, equity, and inclusion employees, which is now illegal. CEO and founder of OpenTheBooks.com, Adam Angieski, joins us now to tell us about the financial impact of Texas's DEI ban in Austin and around the state. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, Sophia. John Carlos. Adam, good morning. Tell us about the latest firings and about their financial impact. So at the University of Texas, Austin, 49 people were terminated, and then there was eight deans, associate, associate deans, that were actually transferred from the DEI bureaucracy into their full-time educational faculty positions. Over at the University of Texas, Dallas, there was 20 people who were terminated from the DEI bureaucracy. Now, the university did not put a dollar figure on these moves. Now, at OpenTheBooks.com, we estimate the top-line savings would be around $10 million based on other states and, and the different positions that we identified. So, you know, we went into our payroll database, and some of these positions were making a lot of money. For example, the director of diversity and community engagement over there at uh, UT Austin, you know, at taxpayer expense, she was making uh, approximately $200,000 when you add in the cost of her benefits. At, you know, they also employed seven directors and executive directors, and those folks were making about 100000 six figures when you include the cost of their benefits. Adam, many people don't know why, what DEI really means and why it's controversial. What do both sides say about it? So the controversy... Uh, goes right to the, the, this word of equity, on diversity, equity, and inclusion. So equity means equal outcomes. In America, traditionally, from our founding documents, like the Declaration of Independence, as codified legally in the United States Constitution, it's not equal outcomes, it's everyone has an equal opportunity with rights endowed by their creator, God, and the government secures those rights through this process of equal opportunity. So actually, at the end of the day, that's the tension. Now, those that want equity say that the uh, America, the structures are fundamentally racist. We need something to level the playing field. So they incorporate, for instance, like skin color uh, and less on merit, where equal opportunity is just, all, it, you know, doesn't guarantee an outcome, but you can rise and fall on your own merit. Adam, your team at Open the Books reviewed the payroll for every public college in Texas. What else did you find? So we found DEI in Texas is deeply embedded within higher education, and I don't think that's a surprise. So we found in our database, if you just search the job titles for the words diversity, equity, or inclusion, that in 2022, so that's a good test year before this controversy came to a head, there was 320 employees in Texas higher ed for a total estimated cost when you include the cost benefits of about $30 million. So this is uh, deeply embedded. For example, um, you can you know, be very highly compensated at the University of Texas, MD Anderson, the associate vice president of DEI at taxpayer cost was making about 360000 Now, she hasn't lost her job. She's just been reassigned to a position without the word uh, diversity in her job title. At the University of Houston, you've got an assistant provost, faculty for re faculty retention and diversity. Again, she didn't lose her job. She makes about $200,000 a year. They just took off the word diversity from her job title. Most universities around the country have some sort of DEI staff. What can you tell us about the nationwide financial impact? Yeah, so uh, like for instance, let's just do a quick survey from around the country. Uh, there's 15 states that have now in some form or another banned taxpayer dollars from uh, DEI uh, in higher education. You know, the big one that got a lot of attention was down in Florida. The University of Florida, they terminated 28 staffers for about a $5 million taxpayer and student savings, they said. Our organization at OpenTheBooks.com, we invested the flat, we investigated the flagship university in Virginia, the University of Virginia. We found that they have 235 employees on payroll for an estimated student and taxpayer cost of $20 million. But you've even got small stakes like Idaho, with about $6 million from four public uh, higher ed institutions on DEI payroll. Adam, like you mentioned, many DEI employees don't literally have the word diversity in their job title, but work in similar roles. How can this ban even be enforced? 
Well, it's tough. It's very difficult to enforce this when people are just reassigned and, and like you mentioned, that you know words are just taken off the of job titles. So you've got State Senator Brandon Creighton. He's given the universities an until May 3rd. He says that's unacceptable just to reassign employees and change job titles or change uh, departments themselves. And so I think you'll find eventually here to hold the institutions accountable, you'll have hearings in the state in the Texas state legislature. And look, at the federal level, we saw this at the Pentagon. Actually, the Department of Defense runs K through 12 public schools. They serve about 70,000 students. The great fanfare a year ago, they terminated their DEI office. But we found when we investigated that, they just embedded DEI in everything they do from faculty hiring and professional development to the curriculum in the classroom. So I think this issue is going to stay with us for a long period of time in the state of Texas. Always great information you share with us, Adam. Thanks for taking the time to chat with us this morning. Thank you. You can find all Adam's reports at openthebooks.com.